So tell me, that stupid man comes to my company and the two most trusted people I have just suddenly move on because they heard a stupid rumor that I was dead. I had refused. And what happened? You forced me to work with him. Even when he fired me, you called me back. You had an option. Why didn't you say no? You two were nothing but two tiny traitors. Do you have something to add, ma'am? All of us here are traitors. What are you talking about? Should you have a wife, but you are still wanting to marry me. As what? Your mistress? Listen, if you were, would I have a reason to get married to you? So what was I to you, George? My fiancé. Relax, 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 Afanda mazima, si inache manje. Nze wangu vada. I've been here long enough and I need to know the person responsible for my misery. Mr. Don't worry. The law always finds its offenders one way or another. Now we should be talking about how to get you out of here, back to your family and your marvelous life, shall we? Okay. Yeah, um, your cousin made a statement. It's clear he was kidnapped. By who and why? Who? The same people that killed the detective who cannot be found now. Why? Um, I don't know. Perhaps he'll be able to explain that to you when you finally meet again. But for now, there is no charge against you and you should be able to get out of here possibly in two to three days. Okay. All right, thank you. Hello? Lina, 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 Lina. Dembe, you're under arrest for the murder of Detective Opolot. You have the right to remain silent and not to say anything in the absence of your lawyer. <laughs> 